Gravistar. How's it going everybody? Josh here, welcome back to another video. This is a new series where I will be covering the weirdest tech that I can find out there. Now, so far I have three products lined up. So the first one obviously is this crazy looking speaker. And then the other two are gonna be a wearable AC unit because guys, it is hot. I'm actually not wearing pants right now. And then the third one is a portable dishwasher. Make sure to get subscribed if you aren't already. And uh, with that out of the way, let's unbox this speaker. Obviously, we have to take a look at the box. So this packaging is pretty crazy. And at the top, it says, top secret. So you guys are in for a treat. It is a full range dual speaker. So it has a main speaker and a subwoofer in the back. And their slogan here says, be cool, play it. Very creative. Crazy cool speaker with ultimate sound, Bluetooth 5.0, powerful sound, 15 hour battery life, true wireless stereo. Now, I was taking a look at the box earlier and it's pretty funny because they spelled wireless correct on this side, but on the other side, you'll see it says TWS, which if you didn't know, stands for true wordsless stereo. But yeah, good acronym, TWS. I'm gonna be using that from now on. And then on this side, it also makes a very, very bold claim stating audiophile level acoustics. And then Bluetooth 5.0, RGB lights, 15 hour battery life, zinc alloy body, and a shock absorption structure. You see a little diagram of what appears to be a leg there, a robot leg. Let's unbox it. Now, I also grabbed my Bose Soundlink Mini, which I think retails for roughly the same price, maybe a little less than this Gravistar. So we'll be doing a sound comparison. But first, let's unbox this thing. Do, 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 do. Aha, and at the top, we get this fun little foam insert. Ah, the Gravistar. So it comes with a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter cable, a charging cable, which is a USB-A to USB-C cable. And then you get this instruction manual. It's a Bluetooth speaker, how hard can it be? All right. So here is the speaker. So I believe this is the front of the unit. At the top, you can see this little slider here for the volume. So very nice. And then some very tiny buttons off to the side. It looks like in the middle is the power button, Bluetooth button, and then it looks like a little light button. And then at the back, you'll see the subwoofer. And then we got these legs at the bottom with a charging port, which is USB-C. So let's fold this guy out. Ready to pair. A lot of RGB lights all the way around the unit. And if I press this button, it changes colors. Now the unit feels very well constructed. Oh, I wanted to test the shock absorption structure. A shock absorption structure. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend dropping the speaker. So we've got orange, green, purple, red, cyan, a blue, and then back to orangish yellow. Which one's your favorite? Mine would probably be, I wanna say this yellow one, like this black and yellow look, I dig it. All right, so let's get our phone paired and listen to some tracks. Bluetooth connected. <laughs> So right off the bat, it sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty good. Now, does it sound $220 good? The Sonos Roam, I know, sounds phenomenal. And that one retails for $180. And this one is 220 
And then the Bose SoundLink Mini 2 is discontinued, but I think around the time of launch, it was also about like 200-ish dollars. So let's compare the sound. So the Gravistar speakers actually sound pretty good. They do a good job separating the bass from the treble because it's two separate speakers. So you have the subwoofer in the back and then the main speaker in the front. It also gets a lot louder, I think. I know that those tracks that I played didn't have any vocals, which I think are pretty important when evaluating a speaker. So I did record my own voice, um, talking about today's sponsor, Blinkist. So take a listen and let me know which one sounds better or clearer. All right, let's be real. Nobody likes reading because it takes a lot of time and we all have attention spans of squirrels. Now that's where Blinkist comes in because Blinkist makes reading actually fun. Now no, this is not another audiobook app. Blinkist actually does something completely different. What they do is they condense nonfiction books into what's called blinks, which are essentially the main takeaways from each book. That means you can read a lot of books in just a very short amount of time. For example, this 260 page book would only take you 13 minutes to complete, which is insane. Now these blinks come in either text or audio form, and I find it really convenient to just listen to them in the car on your commute or while you're on a drive. Now, I know what you're thinking. You may not wanna spend your hard earned cash on another subscription, but hear me out. This book that I just read about the metaverse would have costed $23 for a hardcover copy, and that $23 would have more than covered your Blinkist subscription, which gives you access to unlimited books. So in my opinion, there's actually a lot of value in this membership, and you can actually get a free seven day trial by using the link down below and 25% off a of premium membership. So with that said, let's get back to the video. What'd you guys think? Which one sounded better? Yo guys, editor Josh here. So I just listened to those clips and I don't know what you think, but to me, the Bose SoundLink Mini 2s just sounded a lot clearer and the Gravistar sounded pretty muddy. Now it didn't sound that muddy when I was actually recording it. So maybe it was just the microphone placement, but yeah, obviously you're not buying these speakers for its sound performance. I'd say you're buying it for the cool factor, the uniqueness and just the overall aesthetic. So that's just my two cents. Wanted to say that because I didn't get a chance to say that in my actual recording. So yeah, back to the video. But overall, I think I'm pretty surprised at how the Gravistar Mars Pro performed. Now this speaker comes in a bunch of different colors. So on the website, there's black, which I have here. There's white, there's a war damaged yellow, which kind of reminds me of Bumblebee from Transformers. I think if you just had this on your desk or if you just had this at a party, people would definitely ask questions and yeah, it'd be a great conversation starter. Oh, and if you have two of these, you can link them together to create a stereo sound, which is pretty cool. Thank you guys for sticking till the end and checking out this speaker with me. If you wanna pick one up, I'll have links down below. As always, make sure to like the video and subscribe for other weird tech and leave a comment to any other crazy tech that you guys have seen out there. I'd love to check it out and potentially feature it on this channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh my gosh, it's so hot.